and it was really traumatic and it really brought a lot of pain into your heart, caused a lot of heaviness and depression to come on. It's you get real, though. you get what I'm saying? It's real. No, so look, I don't know you from a can of paint, but I'm telling you. There's a lot of santeria stuff, voodoo santeria, with the turban and they smoking the cigar and the beads. Literally, this is the whole city. This the whole corner is the demonic altar. You know your yeah. Husband yeah. Me on social media. How do you know my husband? That's what you know. <laughs> What's up everybody? We out here in Miami and I'm in the hallway right now. But make sure that you subscribe if it's your first time watching. Like and share because you care. But we're about to go out here and meet some folks and we are going to evangelize. We're going to go soul win and see people's life not come to a bitter end, but come to a victorious one. Eventually, not yet though. That's why we're winning souls. So people can go to heaven. So anyway guys, Get ready, things are about to get really holy, ghosty, toasty. Holy, ghosty, toasty, holy, ghosty, toasty. I had a little bit of a delay right there. Holy, ghosty, toasty for the most high, mosty. Yo, Keegan, that was fire, wasn't it? Holy, ghosty, toasty for the most high, mosty. Let's go. We're now proceeding down the elevator. Check the view out. This is Doral, D-O-R-A-L, Doral. If you look over here to, my, to our right, you see a whole New creation. He's still behind the veil. He ain't made it back yet. Come on out from behind the veil. Come on. Come on, the veil's been torn. Let's go. Come on, the creature is coming. There it is. That is known as Keeg's ice, and he's all right. Let's enter into the elevator. Let's head down to the lower floor where we are going to meet. Our brother in Christ, Isaiah, Evangelist Isaiah Poche Corto Real. Have you ever noticed the mirrors in the elevators? A lot of people use them as a time to reflect. <laughs> Tell me that won't awesome me. Get it? They're mirrored. Time to reflect. You, you didn't like that. Amazing. Ah oh, man, I'm trying, guys. Trying to bring life out of him. He's really lively. He's not. This this thing is not usually like this. We actually got a YouTube page called A Supernatural Life. I don't know, have any of y'all heard of it before? No. We just hit one mil not too long ago. Uh, yep, and this is our founder of the page too as well. Um, yeah, yeah. So uh, we have a, a supernatural life and we pretty much share the love of Jesus Christ to people. Uh, we go out in places like this to be a blessing to people because you never know what people are going through, right? You know what I'm saying? So, our, yeah, yeah, she knows. I, she. <laughs> What's your name? Geneva. Geneva. Geneva, and you guys are just friends hanging out. Oh, you. Okay, okay. Turn up, turn up, turn up. Yeah. Well, um, pretty much. I don't want to. I don't want to take too much of y'all time. Um, are you guys open for just the supernatural? What do y'all know about the Holy Spirit? I know that Jesus is just always with us. You know, even when we going through hard times. Out of the praise the Lord every time you open your two eyes. Have you ever heard of word of knowledge, prophecy? You ever heard of that stuff before? You have? Yeah. So there's nine gifts of the Holy Spirit, right? And the Holy Spirit will speak to us about people's life. So what we like to do when we pray for people is see if we can hear the Father. Okay. Would you be open to seeing what God has to say? Yeah. Yeah? You got excited about that. Yeah. So he's the same yesterday, today, and forevermore, right? So he's the God of the past, the present, and the future. So what I want to do, if it's all right, I want to tell you some things that I believe God's showing me on my heart about you. What's your name? Geneva. Geneva. Okay. So one of the things that really dropped in my heart really, really strong is like, I can see your strong demeanor, but I saw a season, and I don't know why, I'm seeing like something with five years old, just but I see a season of life where depression came and really hit you. Like it hit you really hard. And I'm hearing I'm hearing the words um 
Did you have somebody in your family that maybe there was something suicidal, somebody had did something with suicide or something like that, they lost their life and it was really traumatic and it really brought a lot of pain and caused a lot of heaviness and depression to come on? Her father? Yeah, he was suicidal. He committed suicide. Yeah, because I see that was like, a. oh, I feel the Holy Ghost. I feel that that was a major part of your life. And it, it did something to your heart and it actually built up some trust walls. And there was some questions that you had unanswered from God in that season. And I even think like right now I'm coming to you like as a as a as a voice of hope from God to let you know that he wants to heal all of that, because I believe there's even some holdback that loss in your season, you know. There could even been some things with men like, like, can I really trust again? Can I, can this, could this, you know, you know what I'm saying? Because of losing something so special. Anytime we, well, I have, I have two other baby mamas, so I, you know what I'm saying? But still, they're the child, they're my children's mothers. So I know if something would really break my heart, you know? Is that making sense to you so far? Yeah. Yeah. Is there, do you still feel like there might still be something in your heart that God has to heal from that season? So that loss kind of probably broke your heart too, of course. So your that's your dad. Okay. So when I mention that, do you think you've been dealing with some of the stuff I'm talking about also? Like that heaviness of, yeah. Do, would you want God to heal that and, and take that away? Yeah. <laughs> What's your name? Mahogany. Okay. Mahogany. Do you believe in Jesus Christ? Jesus is your Lord and Savior. Can I show you something? Can you put your hand on your heart? Can I touch your hand? Father, I, thank you. I command right now in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, every bit of pain from the loss of Mahogany's father. I ask you right now to heal Mahogany from the crown of her head to the soles of the feet. Right now, Holy Spirit, I ask you to touch this area. And I'm sensing some nightmares, some night, some night things, trouble sleeping, things like that. I command right now every bit of that trouble sleeping, every spirit of fear that's been attacking you. I command it to come off of your body and I command you to be made whole now. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to breathe really fast. It's like Jesus breathed on his disciples. I'm going to breathe life into you so that you can have a fresh start. <sighs> In Jesus name, everything be made new. Everything. In Jesus name. Yeah, yeah. What about you? Can I pray for you for anything? What do you need? Strength. Strength. Yeah, let's pray. Father, I thank Geneva, right? Geneva? Father, I thank you for Geneva. I pray right now, every bit of been up on her, having to worry about not only one person, but she's handling everything. Literally everybody's problems have been resting on her shoulder. So I command right now all this heaviness, all this stress that's been on her shoulders to come off of her now. And I see the tension that comes into your upper back sometimes. I command every bit of this tension to come out of your upper back. And if there's any headaches that get caused sometimes, I command all migraines, all headaches to come and every spirit that's been attacking you to be off of your life in Jesus name. Amen. Amen. Does that make sense? Yeah. Do you ever have any of that that I was mentioning? Yeah. I'm one of the ones that take care of everybody. Like, oh, really? Yeah. So your mama to everybody. Yeah. Did you think that come even from when you were little, having to take care of the family and everything? Did you come from a broken family? Yeah. How many brothers and sisters did you? Four, three, four, three, four. Oh man. And one brother, but he passed. You're not the oldest. No. Okay. I'm bitter. But you were taking care of everybody though. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Right. Say is this. There's a saying, go back to your first love. I don't know where you met Jesus the first time, but remember that moment because he wants a hundred percent, you know, and I know what you know what I'm talking about. He wants a hundred percent because he wants to use you mightily in a big way. He wants you to win a lot and we can help people in our own strength. If we do it in our own strength, we get tired and we fail. But if the Holy Spirit's backing you up, you'll see big results and you'll be able to help people a lot and move in the supernatural power of God. So remember, 100% is what he wants. And I want to leave you with that. God bless you, girl. And bless your family, too. Y'all have a nice night. Mark stopped him. Got prophecy. Flavia's over here bringing uh, more of the gospel and probably bringing a... 
little bit deeper message of conviction there just to finish it off top. But there's a lot of prophecy, words and knowledge. The Lord started showing me some things. I actually, because the music's so loud, I, there's a lot of traffic going on. I was actually something that was right, but it was for mahogany. So we moved over to mahogany and got to pray for her and bless her. So it's what we do, man. That's why we got to use the gifts of the Holy Ghost. It opens up big things. You know, the goodness of God leads to people to repentance, not condemnation. So 100% is what Jesus wants. Hey, you guys. I'm sorry to bother y'all. We actually got a YouTube page called The Supernatural Life. We just hit one mil. Are you guys up for being on our YouTube channel? Oh, what is it about? The Supernatural Life. Uh, what? The Supernatural Life. Okay. You, you're up for it? It's, I'm good, babe. You say you're good. Wow. I have no idea like what it is. Oh, well, we can get into it if you're if you're open to it. I know you guys are waiting on an Uber. Wait, or... no, like, Wait but what friends, is it? Like a supernatural? What is it? So so it's based on the supernatural. Uh -huh. Um, and we pretty much like share like encounters. Like if you ever had an experience, a supernatural oh. encounter before. Oh yeah, no, my life is boring. I'm serious. My life is dead I'm boring. So I've never had that. Never had it. No. Are you open to it? I. <sighs> I mean, if I know it like, sounds crazy, but like we're gonna haunt me. No, it's yeah. not gonna hunt you. No, you up for it? Oh, sh <laughs> like right now? Yeah, right now. Oh, God, what? So what if? What if it'll be one encounter that will really change your life for the good, and it only take one second? An encounter that will change my life? I don't know why, but I feel like God is telling me to tell you the season that you were in last year. You're not gonna experience this year. Like I see brokenness. Like you went through a season like where there was so much things that wanted to take you out. And you're a strong woman. You're a leader. You're real. You're, no, called you're to, real. No, like I'm yeah, being so yeah, genuine with you right now. And there's so many things throughout her life that wanted to take her out. There were people that were close to you, that you thought were close to you, that abandoned you, that spoke against you, that betrayed you, but you still pushed through this season. It's you get, real though. You get it's, what I'm saying? It's real. No, so look, I don't know you from a can of paint, but I'm telling you, beyond this realm, there's a supernatural God, there's angels, there's demons, they're real, but there's angels that protected you. I hear the Lord says, I have had angels that protected her, where there was moments, even in your, the areas of your mind where the enemy wants, wanted to speak suicidal thoughts, wanted to speak depression, to you but i'm seeing the lord says he wants to restore what was stolen from you through your youth i hear that through you through a young age there are things that you've experienced that most people couldn't bear but you bear and i won't take too much of your time because i know your friend has to go but i want to just do a quick prayer with you is that okay no yeah that's give totally me fine yeah. give me here what's your name jocelyn jocelyn believe it or not one day you will lead many women many women that deal with brokenness with thoughts i see you as you have a helping gift when you speak, it will move the hearts of women. Women will look up to you as a role model one day, and you will understand what I mean by this. So, Father, I thank you. Just say these words. Say, say Jesus, reveal your presence to me. Reveal your presence to me. Come into my heart. Come into my heart. Change everything in my life. Change everything in my life. I make you my savior. I make you my savior. In Jesus' name. So watch this. Holy Spirit, I pray right now. Touch her. Touch her heart. There it is. That's his presence. More, Lord. Let her encounter your presence. Show her how much you love her right now. There he is. He's touching you. In Jesus' name, remove the burdens. Remove the traumas of yesterday. Fill her with your love and give her a sound mind. In Jesus' mighty name. Amen. How do you feel? I appreciate it. Awesome. I appreciate it so much. Come on. That's I just, it. I want to say Yeah, yeah, sure. To you. I just, I feel like... Like, you haven't encountered the real Jesus yet. You've encountered the, the religious church, you know, the people who have spoken about you, tried to put you in a box. But you're about to encounter God, like he said, in a supernatural way, a Jesus who loves you, who's going to lead you, uh, and, and he's going to heal your heart. So just know that. Just know that, you know, just be open to that and just know that Jesus is literally just, he's going to heal you and take you down your own path. Uh, that doesn't look like the normal, like, religious type. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So, yeah. But God bless you. And Thank he loves you. you so much. Seriously. Yeah, I know. Yeah, 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 so yeah, yeah. Yeah. God bless you. I, I j just know that Jesus is going to encounter you in a big way. And he's going to use you and bless you in a big way, too. Yeah. I yeah, appreciate yeah, yeah, yeah. God bless you. Thank yeah. you. Yeah. Amen. Thank you. So, guys, quick recap. Uh, we ran into, uh, I guess, what seemed to be like a couple. Um, and obviously, they were in the alphabet community type of thing. But I really felt a strong pull to minister to them. Um, and it seemed like the young lady that I was ministering to was open, open to uh, encountering Jesus. Um, the Lord began to reveal things to me about her, her personal life, about how she was in a season of just really just in a dark time in her life where she was. And she attested to that, that that was true. And she was open to receiving Jesus Christ into her heart. And I believe the Lord really encountered her in such a way. I mean, you can literally see like, she was so overwhelmed, full of love and peace. And also, you know, I had my brother Keegan came in and also 
uh, gave her a confirming word, a reassurance uh, in her life that will, I believe, change everything in her life after today. So, guys, I hope you guys were blessed. I hope these encounters are encouraging you guys to do the same in your community, guys. I'm telling you, we're called to be a light in dark places. What are you waiting for, guys? Let's do it. What's going on, everybody? I'm in Miami. Apostle? I was being loud at Apostle. I was being loud at Apostle to start the live. Whoops! If you look on the floor, you're going to see there's like different curses and things written. Like if you're watching. Let's do Flavia. Flavia. What? Evangelist Flavia, give us a tour. Explain what is it. Well, this one, I don't know, is just... We gotta put this Grinch, there, Grinch, I don't know. But as you go that, you know, more and more, like, look at, look at, look at all the paint. Look at the walls. It's all demonic, family spirit. There's always the monitoring the eyes, you know, the, like watching things. There's a lot of Santeria stuff, voodoo Santeria, with the turban and they smoking the cigar and the beads. Literally, this is the whole city, this the whole corner is the demonic altar, basically, done to voodoo and Santeria. In fact, there's areas you go, there's hanging animals. Like, I don't know if it's like fake or real, like we're stepping around here, we're releasing the light. Every ground we put our feet on, it's already been given to us. You know, because we are the head and not the tail, we are above and not beneath, and no weapons formed against us can prevail. So we're going to be touching people with the love of Jesus. Amen? Cover the city with the blood of Jesus. Amen? Like they have little words written all over. It's like so just demonic stuff. We just saw one that said, buy bills and then for all the states and a website. Like we break that in Jesus' name. So basically, our page uh, is just to inspire the world. You know, just to be just to be a positive light in dark places. Because believe it or not, we're living in trying times, right? You can say like Trump just almost got shot at. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And we're living in trying times, and people need to see positivity. People need to see that there's still hope in a in a dying world. You yeah. know what I'm saying? So um, our page is about just really sharing the heart of God to people. You know, um, and just. You guys are open to, to hearing what God has for you guys? Yeah. You see, you guys seem like believers. Are you believers yeah. in Jesus Christ? Yeah. Man, cool. So you guys are open. All right, cool. And we actually have my uh, the founder of the ministry here. He's the founder of the page, is Daniel Adams. So we're going to kind of tag team if you guys are okay. I, I feel like the Lord is, is going to minister to you guys. Do you all believe or do you like kind of not believe? Oh, no, I'm a believer, yeah. a follower of Christ for sure. Oh, you're very vocal on this now. Okay, y'all yeah. live in Miami? Yes. Yeah. All right, so... What we like to do, especially with people that already believe in Jesus, like you know he died for your sins, went to the cross, died a death that you deserved, right? Died for your sins, rose again on the third day, seated at the right hand of the Father. You understand all that? Yeah. Okay, and you're saved by? His grace. Okay. Yeah, you're saved by accepting that. Yeah. By faith. And then you get saved, right? And then the rest of it is the Holy Spirit leading us into all truth and convicting us of the things that we need to be convicted of to walk right. So then, since y'all know that, what we like to do is prophesy, or see if we get words of knowledge. I don't know if y'all have ever heard of that. Oh, you yeah, know about that? Haitian. We grew up in church. Oh, he's Haitian too. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so y'all know about like the supernatural aspect of Jesus. Okay, I believe God knows our heart. I believe he knows what we're supposed to do, walking with him. So what we'll do is, if he wants to, since he stopped you, we can tag team and see what God is saying for them. And uh, you guys just confirm it. And y'all have every right to say, yo, you off. Yeah. Or you can say, you know what? That bears witness to my spirit. I, You know, it's real funny. It's hitting me real hard with you. But I believe, do you ever visit Haiti? I haven't. I believe the Lord has a work for you to do in your country. And I believe it is, and I believe it is to orphans. I believe you have a heart for like the young ones and stuff like that. I really felt that when I looked at you. Like you are like mama bear, you know what I'm saying? Is that, <laughs> is, does that make sense? Yeah. Why, why does that surprise you so much? It doesn't surprise me, that's what's, yeah. that's why they're looking at me like she that. Kids. I love, that's, that's just her, yeah. You love kids. So then we take the love of kids and what God will do is he'll say, hey, I wanna take this love and I wanna send it to the less fortunate. And we all know how Haiti is right now. So I believe there's gonna come a time where the Lord is gonna take you give you an organizational name and he's going to send you back in there to do a great work to bring those kids back to hope. You're going to be a hope bringer to those who have went through a lot of, lot of that mess. 
And this can be some time down the road, but I think this is just me telling you that the Lord sees your heart and he wants to use what's in your heart to do something great, you know? All right, I'll let you go and then I'll go behind you. Man, God, that, was, that was spot on. I mean, that's crazy. Um, it's crazy. It's, yeah, for sure. I mean, literally as you were ministering to her, like I kind of seen it like, like a fire just kind of over them, all three of them. Like Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego type of thing. But I kind of see you guys doing something in a group um, where I don't know if this like revolves around like the entrepreneurship realm where you guys are planning something business wise. But I see the Lord There's breathe. Clothing anointing on Ooh. Mm. Anybody here like into like fashion or design? Fashion. Oh, she said, <laughs> yeah. You haven't thought about a clothing line? I have, yeah. Oh, really? I'm already, like, kind of in a, the business right now. Not of clothing, but, like, entrepreneurship. Yeah. But yeah. I've been thinking about, I do lashes and waxing and stuff, yeah. Okay, so you already got that creative eye. Yeah. You can so, see the human canvas, right? Yeah. yeah. And I've actually been thinking about, like, starting clothes. Like, just for myself first, but then to venture out, you know? But that's I funny. Think, I think it would be very fruitful, you know? I think if he's picking up on that, it would be something very fruitful that God will bless. You know, so I, but if you're entrepreneurial, then you can be blessed in many things. Right. You know, so never limit yourself. Shoot, shoot out there. Get good at one thing and then venture from there. You know, go ahead. Yeah, and uh, for you, um, I see you being a light in your family. Um, I see you being a, a hope, a source of hope for what uh, I, I see just a lot of where the enemy tried to come into your family in a sense to almost bring like discord almost bring out a lot of strife and division and almost like you were like the person that God has placed tremendous wisdom and discernment where you can kind of see things that most people can't really perceive but God has put that in you you have such a discerning gift in you but I also see the Lord using your mouth to bring restoration to what was broken in the form of relationship and family does that make sense in any way it does yeah and and, and who is that specifically? I'm seeing like a, a woman figure. Like me and my cousins. Uh, yeah. Like it's a bunch of us like girls. Yeah, yeah. And like I feel like I'm in the middle all the time. Yeah. So yeah. 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 <laughs> it's getting I'm, it's a little emotional, but yeah. Yeah. If you if it gets you emotional, that means it's a false burden. And the Lord wants to take that false burden from your shoulders. Remember, the Bible says his yoke is easy. His burden is light. So if you feel ever feel heaviness, that's the Lord saying, give me that. I don't want you to carry this heaviness of the world. That means you have a very, um, what do you call it, a merciful heart. And you probably, you feel people's stuff. You'll walk in a room, you're like, man, you probably just start taking on everything. Which can even cause you to isolate if you're not careful, you know, just to get away. And it's okay to get away, but not to isolate, you know. So I believe that we could pray for you mm -hmm. and you will feel that burden left if you want to give it to God. I like that. You like that? Mm -hmm. Okay, can you take my hand? So say this, say Jesus. Jesus. I know that this is not my burden. I know this is not my burden. I need your help, I need your help. With, my family. with my family. I ask you, I ask you to, take this burden. to take this burden in Jesus' name. In Jesus name. Now let me pray. Father, I thank you for your daughter. I ask you right now, to remove this demonic burden that has been on her shoulders and been afflicting her. Holy Spirit, I ask you right now also to reveal your power to her. I pray, Lord, this is a moment that she can release this burden, release this pain, and know that everything's gonna be okay. And the things that she has on her heart that she might not know that people know, that you can go ahead and take that from her too and give her a new heart and a new start. So I pray you bless her and her cousins, Lord. And I feel like the Lord has want me to say this, I feel like he wants me, it's something about life. And when the Lord speaks to me about life, that means somebody wants to end life. So there might be somebody in the circle of your cousins and stuff that is having a hard time wanting to keep going. And I, I feel like I want to encourage you that, that the hope that you bring, like he said, being the light, is going to cause this person or whoever this is to not leave the earth early. So as long as you keep speaking life, death can't be their portion. So, so if you're doing that, keep doing it so that this person won't leave. And I also, I'm kind of sensing it's like an identity issue. Like they're really battling like who they're supposed to be. And that's one of the things that's trying to rip them down. 
and it's almost like extreme negativity on them. Does that make that's is that bear witness to you? A little bit. Yeah. Not too much. But. Okay. Is there? It's like unspoken things, right? Yeah. So that there may be some unspoken things. So I believe even after today, after we talk to you, you're going to start to see that light you carry start to bring some unspoken things forward. And you're going to be like, hold on, I was just out here talking to these people. And now this stuff is coming forward, and it's just because the Lord wants to use you to bring them hope. And all you got to pretty much say is Jesus loves you, and he knows what you're going through, you know? So, yeah, yeah, yeah. But you guys are awesome. Um, anything else? I mean, you guys are blessed. So, so before we let you all go, is there any pain in your body? Is there anything you need healing for? Is there any bad backs? You know, is there, like, neck pain? Is there... You got high high blood pressure. I know you don't. You're young, but I'm just saying, which that don't matter. It can be. <laughs> yeah. You do have back pain. Right here. Was it from an accident? Yeah. Yeah. I was sitting here early. I was feeling like back pain from an accident. Yeah, I had an accident. Was it a car accident? Yeah, that's really good. Okay. Uh, yeah, because when I was now, I promise on everything, a shifting of a disc. Yes. Yeah. yeah herniated disc it hit you that car accident was so heavy it herniated the disc I'll show you something really crazy and you can you help me she's your friend right she's my god sister. your god sister can you put your hand where that disc is on her lower back I just Here? just cuz you're a lady yeah was it right there Oof, the top's not good all right <laughs> watch, watch this okay it's a faith thing in the mighty name of Jesus Christ just watch you probably feel something. I command right now that disc, you listen to me now in Jesus' name. Every spirit of pain and trauma that came into that disc in that spine, shift. Wait, shift. All the way into place, yeah, all the way. In Jesus' name. Are you experiencing anything as we pray? You feel something? Yeah. Inside? What does it feel like? I don't know. Just, I don't know how to explain it. Have you been kind of heavy from this too? Um, heavy from other things. Yeah. yeah. Let me do this. Every spirit of heaviness come off of it now. All the way. In Jesus' name. I heard the Holy Spirit say it's a demonic attack, Daniel. I command this demonic attack that's been holding you down. And I saw in the night is when it entered in. I command every demonic attack that came in through the night to be broken from your life. Every witchcraft attack that's tried to sabotage you, tried to stop you from moving forward where it seems like you take three steps forward, five steps back. I command this spirit of sabotage to come to an end, to leave you and this thing that's making you overthink and self-analyze too much. I command that to go too. And I command your confidence to come back. This thing has tried to steal your confidence, tried to hold you down. I command this confidence stealing spirit that is trying to take you out. I command it to lift from your body now and never return. And also I saw an attack on your stomach. I command right now the attack on your stomach, the attack on your body, the attack on your health. I command it to be removed in the mighty name of Jesus. Now be completely free. Well, you did that. What was that for? It's big. Yeah. yeah. I was hitting some good stuff, huh? Yeah. I believe today what I'm doing right now you're gonna see a health, a, a, a healing. The Lord's healing you. I think you're gonna walk away from this with a huge testimony of God's goodness. Listen, there's no chance we stopped here today. You see what I'm saying? Yeah. There's no chance that we stopped and we saw you guys. It's because God wants to step in and change everything. You know, your back will be better. If it isn't already, I don't know. Can you tell? I can. You can? Okay, everything else is gonna to change too. All right, you're gonna get back what you deserve and you deserve health. You don't deserve all that other mess, all right? Mm. Amen. 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 <laughs> awesome. Amen. That's all. Yeah, I'm sweating too. <laughs> yeah. Thank you, sir. you Thank you guys have a wonderful have night. Have a blessed night. You too. In Jesus' name. And I pray, Lord, that he will be able to fulfill everything that you have for him. God bless you, brother. I walked past the security guy, and uh, I had a word that, like, something was going on in his body. I don't know if he was 100%. Um, honest with me, but you could tell the Holy Spirit touched him from the prayer, man. He was really encouraged. And then he said, I hope God gives it back to you. Was it tenfold? Tenfold. I said, ah, that's the church words, man. So he opened the door to some stuff. But it's just good to love on people and just talk to them and tell them God loves them, man, and he remembers them, you know? 
I don't want to see you. Put your arms on that wall, man. That's crazy. Did you turn it around? Yes. Yeah. 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 Oh, that's you. Yeah. 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 Here, let me get a picture. It's like a Popeye. <laughs> oh my goodness. She's not her husband. husband. Okay, okay, okay. Wait, what's your name? Who are you? <laughs> he follows me on uh, Instagram, might follow me on everything else too. What is your name? Daniel Adams. Okay. I have a ministry called The Supernatural Life. Okay. Oh, so, okay, okay. So we travel the world, do revivals, wow. stuff like that. And on uh, Instagram, SNL Dan. Yeah, yeah. okay. <laughs> Ask him, does he know who I am for real? That'd be funny. Daniel Adams. Yeah, yeah. Okay, I will. Just like a face 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 Pumpkin, guess what I'm doing? I'm, um, Will just got prophesied over it. Do you know who Daniel Adams is on the internet? Like on YouTube? Well, you follow him thanks to my sweet friends who looked up your Instagram. Or your, your Instagram. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's called, his channel's called The Supernatural. But my Instagram is SNL Dan. His Instagram is SNL Dan. Yeah. Well, I'm talking to him right now. <laughs> he says, oh, I know exactly who. Oh, you know? <laughs> yeah, isn't that crazy? Just on the, where? <laughs> That's crazy. Who, where I've been wanting to go all day, might yeah. I add, because of the art. Is he in Chicago? Um, Yeah, we live in like the suburbs. Okay. Yeah. What That's suburb so in Chicago? I'm from over What's there. What's area? Aurora. Aurora? Aurora? Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Gotcha. I went to school well, in Peoria. Can he hear me? Oh, okay. Yeah, he can hear you. Hey, what's up, man? I went to Wheaton College. Oh, no, yeah, I know exactly where Wheaton's at. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, say that again? I said, how are you doing? It's nice to meet you. It's, hey, <laughs> hey, I didn't know we'd meet like this, but it's good to meet you too, man. <laughs> yeah, that's incredible. That's crazy. Yeah. He, he, yeah, her friend looked because I told her to follow me, and she was like, hold on. Her husband follows you on Instagram. You can't make this stuff up, man. Look how Jesus works. But look, I, because you're on the phone, I'm just gonna I'm gonna pray for you and your wife, man. And I'm gonna ask the Lord just to bless you guys big time, okay? So, yeah. So, Father, I thank you right now for this man of God and this woman of God. I pray expanded grace. What I, what I started to see in the spirit was that the Lord is going to expand you, and I don't know why I'm feeling this, but y'all aren't placed exactly where you're gonna stay. I saw a moment that's going to come where y'all are going to be uplifted and moved to an even better place. A better, and I don't know if Chicago is where you're going to stay either, but I see that the Lord wants to put you in a place where y'all can truly prosper and some of the business endeavors and stuff that's been placed in your heart needs to be able to birth. So Father, I thank you for this couple. I thank you also for this man of God who I heard was a Fortnite person. I pray, Lord, that he will be able, be able to be blessed on social media big also so that that can even bring in an income for them. So Father, I just thank you for their life. I thank you for her life, this entrepreneurial, administrative, leadership, prophetic gift that is standing right here. And this man of God who is also a prophetic gift, I pray that they will become so strong, Lord, that the kingdom of darkness will not stand a chance. So I bless them tremendously in Jesus' name. Amen. In Jesus' name. Thank you. Oh, this is so, such a special moment. Huh? I was driving her to the airport. Yeah. I was like, you didn't know if he wants you to stay in your job? Yeah, yeah, we've been talking about this. So, like, it's like, yeah, yeah, yeah in line. Uh, I, I literally just told her that. Wednesday, yeah. Wednesday, wow. Wednesday. Yeah, I was just sitting here really feeling it, man. Huh? I, I, I just told her, I was like, pray with me about this. Uh, yeah, this is like a day and a half ago. So, so you know what's funny is, like, they real, literally got out of the car, I think it was an Uber or something. Yeah right in front of us it was the craziest thing bro. i had been saying like i want to go to a worship night with people i want to like do something like i want to go to tomorrow we have revival we have revival i don't think it's gonna happen but i yeah. have or y'all follow me when y'all see me in chicago you come to a revival yeah you guys will 
Or you and your wife fly down, man. All she got, all you got to do is hit me up on Instagram. Let me know you're coming. I'll take care of you. Yeah, yeah. Actually, bro, shoot me a DM. What's your name on Instagram? I'll, I'll get it from your wife and uh, I'll and then shoot me a message so I send it and I'll DM you back. Hey, look, tonight was wild. I don't have much words to say, man. I mean, all of us were rolling in the Holy Ghost. You know, Mark on fire, Keegan on fire, Flavia on fire. Everybody else on fire, myself on fire, with the fire of Jesus Christ. But anyway, guys, that's it. Look, if it's your first time watching, make sure you subscribe, hit the notification bell, like and share because you care. But what matters is keeping Jesus first. And if you're watching this and you like what you see, we do revivals. We're also always out in the highways and byways, and we're equipping the saints for the works of ministry. Go to the website now www.thesupernaturallife.org get involved by clicking the link that says become a forerunner that will allow you to get it directly involved in the ministry anywhere you are in the world you'll get discipled you'll get to know things that you didn't know before because we dive deep into the word we have zoom calls we have hubs meaning local hubs you can get involved with community you can go out evangelize with them there's just so much you can do here at this ministry but you have to get involved amen all right guys Love you much, and uh, I'll see you on the next one, in Jesus' name.